How's it going everybody out there in cyberspace? Um, due to the lack of information on Clumber Spaniels, um, I wanted to start a YouTube channel committed to um, putting information out there on Clumber Spaniels. I'll tell you a little bit of a backstory on myself and getting my dog, who is a Clumber Spaniel, Ursinha. Ursinha is Little Bear in Portuguese. I have a Brazilian girlfriend. So uh, <laughs> her name's Ursinha. I got Ursinha, um, it's going on three months ago, no, two months ago. Um, she was born on February 15th and I've wanted a Clumber Spaniel for ever since I was 14 years old. I grew up uh, hunting, fishing, the whole outdoors thing and saw at my friend, his name's Nick Rose, so hi Nick, um, was at his house when I was 14 years old and I was going through a uh, gun dog book and had all the different uh, breeds of gun dogs. So I'm 41 now, finally got around to it, getting a Clumber Spaniel. I've read a whole lot about them, um, but there's not a ton of information out there and I wanted to be able to um, give some real world information now granted, I am a brand new Clumber Spaniel owner, but uh, of the information that's out there, I would like to share what I've seen and short of, sort of the progression. Now I'm going to uh, attempt to train her as a gun dog. I started working with her the first day I got her. Um, and hopefully it all works out. Um, she's doing pretty good. I cannot complain how well she's doing. Um, I'd like to start off my channel with the first video of going over some of the information that I've read that I can confirm. Um, their personality. Um, laid back, I can confirm that. Ursinia is super laid back. Affectionate. Their emotions. <laughs> Sometimes it's creepy because it's almost human-like. She loves to be with people and she loves to be friendly with people so far. You know, I have no other experience with any other Clumber Spaniels. This is from what I've read and this is from my experience in the last couple months since I've had her. Um, so laid back, most definitely laid back. She is so laid back. Um, she will get excited for stuff. You know, we'll go out training and take this dummy and throw it for her, she gets excited with that stuff, but uh, as a rule of thumb, very laid back, she's very laid back, uh, affectionate. I cannot express just how affectionate she is with me and with pretty much every other human that she's been in contact with, which I bring her to work with me every day. I have employees. I own a mushroom farm. Uh, if you guys are interested in mushrooms, I also have another YouTube channel. Um, Earth Angel Mushrooms. You want to learn a lot about mushrooms and the mushroom biz. But anyway, I'll get back to Clumber Spaniels. Um, training. Uh, I had read previously that they are very, uh, don't like heavy handed training. I can confirm that as well. She wants to please me, um, does her best. I cannot complain at all in how well she is doing so far knows all the basic commands she does uh, pretty good even on heel right now and she's not even four months old so she'll sit she'll stay she'll lay down she'll retrieve I can send her on multiple retrieves she's getting a lot better on her hand signals uh, as to where the dummy is uh, and again I'm gonna train her as a gun dog so I have shot over her she's not gun shy she wants to please and does not like heavy-handed uh, training, um, which I can't complain at all anywhere in the training. So she's working on being housebroken, and she does pretty good. She was crate trained in literally three days. Uh, initially, I let her go in the kennel for a treat. Um, three days. Now I can just say kennel, and she'll go straight in her kennel. And that's where she spends the night now. Um, so affectionate, super affectionate. Loves to be with people. 
Um, I've never seen her be aggressive, which is something you'll read as well. Um, she does love to chew, chew on stuff, bite. Yeah, she's a puppy. Um, one of the things you'll read about Clumber Spaniels is they love to carry stuff. That is true in my experience, is that uh, she will pick up random stuff and carry it around. Uh, yeah, from a gun, do gun dog standpoint, teaching her to hold, you know, the bird, or in my case right now, a dummy, is it was easy, super easy, because she loves to carry stuff around anyway. Um, whether it be a rock, a uh, stick, um, a dirt clod, uh, whatever it is, they love to carry stuff around. They are extremely good with their noses. I read that um, before I got Ursinia, and I can confirm that they hunt with their nose a lot more than a retriever. You can definitely tell their background back in the day was from some type of hound because she will pick up scent of the dummy. Um, one drawback to that, um, she uses her eyes second. So, so far, um, she's not super good at marking. Of course, she's not even four months old, but uh, I've had a Chesapeake Bay Retriever in the past, um, and she was way better at marking at this age. Um, so she will hunt with her nose a lot more than she hunts with her eyeballs, which is fine. Um, the pace that they go at, uh, you will read that it is much slower than some of the other Spaniels, like a Springer Spaniel or the Boykin Spaniels. You'll see them, they are just hardcore. Meow, meow, meow. Um, she's not like that. She will turn it up when she knows that we are semi-hunting now. Um, when I have uh, a dead bird or a live bird out there, um, you can definitely tell she'll turn up the heat, but it's nothing like one of the hardcore um, balls to the wall, so to speak, breeds that get out there and just go to town, um, which I like. That's one of the reasons that I picked the Clumber Spaniel. They're a lot slower and methodical. She will not miss, um, so far, a bird, even the dummy, when it's out there, she will smell this thing and it's just like instantly. Um, and one of the drawbacks to a hardcore driven dog, they initially, when they're puppies, they love to run away, run away from you and uh, when they're off the leash, which I try to keep her on a leash because I live by a busy road, you can probably hear it. Um, she doesn't run away at all. Um, she wants to be close so that's going to be an issue that I don't have to work on when she's hunting is her getting too far away she never wants to stay out of gun range I know there's going to be people that watch this video um, that are getting them as a family dog um, as far as I can tell my experience with her I've had her around my nephews um, other little kids tons of people she has been amazing amazing with people she loves people loves to please me and please other people super effective um, so what else on that list of things that I read about before I got a clumber that I can express to you guys and, and uh, educate you a little bit shedding they shed like crazy I have there is nothing in my house or I, my clothes my truck at work that doesn't have hair on it that uh, that is true. They shed a lot, and I could brush her 55,000 times in one day, and you still have hair falling out. I don't even, it defies physics. She loses more hair than her total body weight every day, but yet it's still covered with, with hair. Um, but it's worth it. It is well worth it. She is hands down the most affectionate, loving, and caring dog that wants to please me, which makes it easier to train her than any other dog that I've had um, but they do shed and you will read that they snore they she does snore already um, uh, so that could be a drawback I think it's kind of funny she'll be laying there and snoring it's a great video opportunity for uh, Facebook I guess showing your friends it's hilarious um, but the whole premise of my channel is to spread 
uh, education about Columbus Spaniels because there is not a lot of information out there. Um, it's a small group of people that, um, in my experience, um, some of them are not easy to find out information from. It's very guarded. There's not a lot of Clumber Spaniels in the United States or in the world for that matter. Um, so getting real information, if you're considering one, is kind of difficult to do. So I wanted to change that. I want to take charge in spreading information that I see with Ursinia um, and uh, give that to the world because I think they are amazing dogs. You know, they started their life back in the day as hunting dogs and that's what I plan on using Ursinia for is bird hunting. So I want to continue that tradition and hopefully better the breed for the future. Um, I think that there is a lot of, not a lot of Clumber Spaniels, but a lot of the Clumber Spaniels that are out there, they're not hunters. And I think that there is a huge benefit to having uh, a slow and methodical dog that has a really good nose as opposed to, you know, the pointers. Different people want different things out of a hunting dog. And I like the way uh, so far that she's hunted and the style of the Clumber Spaniel. So my first video, I am not a professional trainer. So don't think that I am. I'm trying to just voice my opinion on things that I've seen with her in hopes that I can guide the people out there considering Clumber Spaniels or maybe help someone who does have one already and uh, share the way that I train her. Um, and for those of you out there who have them already, I am open for advice because like I said, this is my first Clumber Spaniel and I've only had her for a couple months. All that said, I hope to be a, a part of the Clumber Spaniel community and better the breed um, by sharing information and getting it out there so people, potential owners in the future, um, we can get good owners, we can get hel a healthy breed, and we can get them hunting. Anyway, uh, I will follow, uh, you got, hopefully make videos to follow her progress. Um, and I am open to suggestions from any of you out there. And hopefully everybody has a good weekend. Stay safe. We'll talk to you later.